Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Fit for Life number 10. Can you believe it? 10 workouts in already. I have Angie in the house with me today and the Fit and Fab team joining us on demand a little bit later. Uh, today's workout is called All Jacked Up. Oh no, what does that mean? It is a cardiometabolic workout. We're going to be doing all sorts of jumping jacks today, either low impact or high impact. You pick your poison depending on your ankles, okay, and your knees be careful. I'll take the low impact options for the most part, um, but you do you whatever you need to do. You can go ahead and take it into a fast walk right now. If you want, you can get a set of weights, three pounds, five pounds for one of the exercises. Otherwise, it is all body weight and that is optional completely. If you have a tracker, you can go ahead and start it now. The proof is in the pudding when we press start on how hard we work today and we will be working hard today. Are we ready to get started? Yes. Let's go. Uh, if you want, there is a playlist in the notes below or choose your own to rock to. This is not choreographed. So just whatever motivates you is great. All right. Take it into a fast walk. And then we're going to go ahead and start into our ramp up. Breathing in, breathing out. Let's take this time to activate our core as always. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, exhale firmly. Get that belly button all the way back to the spine. You're pressing it into your body as if you're trying to squish it innards with your belly button. Core is tight, ribs are kind of held together. We're holding it there. Pelvis, Kegels, tighten them up down there. Maintain this the entire workout. Five seconds and we're gonna go into some hip circles to get us nice and loose all in this region. Go ahead, big wide circles. Press those buttons back, stretch your hamstrings. Push forward, stretch the hip flexors. Press off to the side, activate your glutes with every turn. I'm spinning right and in about mm, five seconds, we're gonna turn around to the other side. One more here. We are doing eight ramp up exercises. Flip it around for about 45 seconds each. Actually, 60 seconds each on this one. So we'll be splitting them 30 30. This is a very active workout today. So I do want to make sure we are good and stretched out. Oh no. <laughs> looking good. Our heads are high. Our shoulders are loose. Taking it into some hip openers. Go ahead and slow it down. Ooh, maybe take that knee up to your chest once or twice. Ooh, stretch that lower back. There we go. Right leg comes up, tap down, dig that toe into the ground, bring it back other side. Press. Widen it up. Press. There you go. That really engages your entire quad, right? You can really feel it when you press that toe into the ground. If you want to increase your balance challenge, as always, you can get, put your hands to the sky. Reach up as you press down. Reach up. Full side stretch on that one. Got about 15 seconds here. All right, let's shake that out. Try a cat cow for a second here. We're gonna bend our knees, extend our backs out to the rear in front of us, press your hands out to the wall in front of you, just looking about three or four feet in front of you. Retract in, inhale, baby back bend, exhale forward. This is actually more of an exercise than a stretch because you can feel we are engaging our core. We're tightening our ribs. We're getting a full stretch out on the back. All right, take it into some arm swings out and back. Nice and loose. I'm going diagonally. Take it laterally, however you want to loosen those shoulders. Nice big range of motion. As most of you know, that ramp stands for range of motion, activation and movement prep. Activating our shoulders and our hips is one of the key things that we wanna do. 
and one. Toy soldiers, contralateral limbs, right hand, left foot, big touch. Engage your core, slight bend to the back forward, reaching out. Keep this as high or low as you want. You can simply go to a knee touch if that's more comfortable, a half touch, or a full range. Breathing in, breathing out. I'm so glad I have one of these little mics that's way down here. Otherwise, you'd be hearing me the whole time. That would be just terrible. <laughs> just keep it at real, folks. 15 seconds. This is a great exercise. You can feel it all the way through your obliques, twisting as you reach to the other side. Your arms are engaged, your shoulders engaged, your hips are engaged. Four, three, two, one. Knee lift to toe extension. Bring those arms up, lift your knee, extend back, press down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, that's right. Core is tight, holding it here. We'll switch sides in about 10 seconds. Hold it up, maintain your balance. Tighten your core, press back, dig deep. That's right, switch it to the other side. Lift, lengthen, press. Lift, lengthen, and press. We'll hold the balance in just a few seconds. Last one, hold it up, hold it tight. Three, two, one, press back. Firm press down, big stretch. Take it to the floor. We're gonna go into the hip bridge. So as always, we're gonna tip our buns up by pressing our belly button down. Holding that position, press up with your hips. Up and down. Press and squeeze your buns. Lift and lower. Add a march if you'd like, or a full raise if that's your preference. Big stretch. You'll feel this slightly in your quads if you're reaching those legs up high. Keep that belly button tight to the floor though, even as you're pressing up. Keep it going. And one, bird dog. Flipping to that um, quadruped position, toes dig into the floor behind you, shoulders over elbows, elbows over wrists, right arm, left leg, extend up to parallel with your back. We don't want them way up here, otherwise we're contracting our back too much. Big extension, press and lower. Extend, lift, squeeze, lower. This is working that erector spinae muscle that basically hugs your entire spinal column. And it doesn't get a lot of exercise, so this Exercise is key to keeping that strong and firm so we don't get hurt. All right, fire hydrant holding that same position. Make sure you're tipping over your wrists. Left leg reaches up, lowers down. Knee goes perpendicular to your body. Feel free to add the kick or the extension if you'd like. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale generally as you contract or do the work. Inhale when you regress it. You can add that kick or just lift and lower that knee off the floor. Three, two, one. Relax. You have a minute to transition. We are going into a cardio series. This is our all jacked up series. So mm, grab your water, towel off if you need it. I don't know why, but my room is particularly warm today. And we have three sets of, oh no, of jacks to do here. First one is seal jacks. I'm gonna press pause. Seal jacks, we're widening out front here. And then you can come all the way to the center or you can do a full cross. It's up to you. All right. Holding that back straight. Our 
uh, head is going to be strung up to the ceiling in front of us. We're going to do three rounds, three exercise, 30 on, 10 off. The next one is skier jacks. It basically looks like kind of a forward lunge. And we're going to do these as fast as possible. It is a cardio round. If you want to go low intensity, you just do steps in between here, okay? Same with the seal jacks. Plank jacks are last. You'll drop to the floor. You'll get your shoulders over your wrists. You'll hold tight. You'll go in and out, holding that back firm like a board the entire time. Optionally, take it to the tap or knee lift and lower if that's where your body is today. Are we ready? Seal jacks up next. Let's go. We're in it to win it. Let's go, let's go. High intensity is here. I'm gonna take it to that low intensity. Actually low impact, not intensity. My heart rate is rising. Big stretches. Squeeze in between as your arms come together. Two, one, 10 seconds. Skier jacks is next. Remember, kind of like a lunge, holding that back neutral. We're up and down. Are we ready? Let's go. Big skiers. Or low impact. As fast as you can go. Can you take it any faster? Keep it going. Yes. Great job, Angie. She does a ton of skiing, so you know this is, she's getting really good on this one. At home, keep going. 10 seconds. We're into plank jacks, our next. Five, four, let's take it to the floor. Three, two, one, let's go. You're on the floor, shoulders right above those wrists, in and out. If your ankles do not like this, you're tapping in, tapping out for lower impact. That's halfway, flat as a board, neck is long. Don't look at the floor, look maybe six inches above it. Rest, back to seal jacks. Whew. That was round one. Ready, go. In and out. That's the full intensity. You keep going. There we go. Extend and squeeze. If you're taking the low impact option, use a little bit more strength with your arms. Squeeze, squeeze. If you're high impact, high intensity, you just go as fast as you can. Stop, skier jacks. Again, if you can, opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite to what I did last time. Let's go. Low and slow, low impact, high impact, high intensity, it's up to you. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Don't forget to breathe. Keep going, two seconds. Rest. I hope you were so busy watching yourselves. You didn't see all my little goof ups at the end. Five seconds, drop to the floor. Plank jacks. Let's go. If you're doing that low impact option, how fast can you take those feet? Holding it still. If your buttons are straight, we're not rocking. We're holding those cheeks up to the sky. One. Last round, seal jacks. Now this is a red zone. As you can tell, we are talking a word or two. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I can't even do it. Ah! 
That breast cancer awareness last night wore me out. 10,000 steps. Whew. Keep it going. Again, this is the high intensity option. You do what you want to do. Rest. Five seconds, skier jacks. Left leg forward, right arm forward. Let's go. I'm taking the step in the middle for the low intensity or low impact. Low intensity is a little slower, that's all. No step in the middle for that highest intensity option. Two and one. Five seconds down to the floor. Plank jacks for that last one. Here we go. I'm taking low impact. Feel free to go higher impact, jumping in and out. Almost there. Point of no return. Hold the plank if you need to, or knee lift and lowers for that final push. And drop those knees. My friends, that was brutal. Are we all jacked up yet? Yes. Grab a drink of water. I don't know that anybody wants to transition right now through jumping jacks for the middle. Bring that heart rate down just a little bit. Mine is at 168, that's peak. That is a red zone. You can hear my breathing, you can hear my talking. That's what this level should sound like when you're ready. All right. Grab your water towel off. Our AMRAP session is coming up next. All right. We have five exercises, three rounds. We've done this timer before, so you're very familiar with how this looks. Our first exercise, you can grab some weights if you'd like, three pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, whatever you want. We're holding them in a goal post position. We lunge to the side, we press up. Lunge, press up. We're doing as many as we can in 35 seconds. Second exercise, we'll drop the weights. We'll move into a broad leap, step, or jump, depending on your fitness level. I'm gonna talk for about 30 seconds, so if you wanna start getting your heart rate back up, feel free to walk, jog, do some dumping jacks. Broad jump, big jump forward, back pedal back. If you want a softer landing, stay on your mat. Jump to the end, back pedal. Big leap is your lower impact option. Exercise, where are we? Actually, that was number one. Number two is the side lunge. Number three is shoulder taps. So we'll go into the plank. We're gonna tap those shoulders just like so. Optionally, tap your ankles for a higher intensity option both at a low impact. You're kind of plank to pike to touch the ankles. Whew. All right, number four, side step drill. To the side of each mat, one, two, three, leap. One, two, three, leap, okay? Highest would be jumping, lowest would be stepping, and then jack sit-ups. Some more jacked up, it looks like a star. Full extension here, elbows to knees, right back out, nice and fluid like so are we ready remember this is as many reps as possible am wrap three rounds five exercises 35 on 20 seconds to transition let's go starting with the broad leap jump first you're in it let's go big jump back pedal back pedal leap one leg or step one leg alternating 
if you're taking that low impact option. <sighs> Halfway. <sighs> How are you doing? Good. <sighs> Five seconds. One more. <sighs> Rest, 20 seconds. Side lunge with the weighted overhead press. Grab your weights if you'd like them. <sighs> Never um, sacrifice form for speed though. Form is first. We're gonna lunge left, drop your uh, buttons towards the floor, press up into the center, drop and press. Let's go. <sighs> if you feel like dropping and pressing first, that's fine. You may wanna concentrate that way. I kind of prefer it to that fluid move motion. Back is straight, chest is so proud, and you're going as deeply as you can. Looking good. And rest. Weights down, plank to pike, ankle touches, or plank shoulder touches. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy wrist supports here. So again, shoulder touch from the plank position or rise up, touch the toes, plank back down. Contract your abs as you come up. How does that feel? Keep it going. You take a peek. Yes. Looking good. Flat as a board as she comes down. Nice rise in the center, touching the ankles. Rest. Lateral mat. Three step drill. We're going one, two, three, big side step. I'm gonna be jumping left to right over my mat, feel free to do that. Or low impact will look like this. Walk, 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 step. <sighs> Highest intensity, leap left. All the way over the mat. And back. <sighs> High knees as you rise up. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Jack sit ups. My goodness. How are we doing? Peak? Yes. 200 calories? Yes. Fantastic. Laying on the floor, full extension into a star or a jumping jack position. Rising up. Curling in, lowering down. Go as high as you can into the crunch, lower back down. Alternately, just a crunch is fine. Level one, right here. Level two, bringing out that full extension. Five, four, three, keep going. Two, one, looking great. One minute to rest, well-deserved. <sighs> Towel off. We've got two more rounds of those. Whoo, spicy. This one's rough, my friends. We didn't call it all jacked up for nothing. 30 seconds to start. Feel free to take it to a walk or a low jog right now if you'd like. Our broad jump and back pedal is first. A lot of jumping in this one, so feel free to reduce that impact by taking big steps or single leg leaps. The highest intensity is always those two legs at once. 10 seconds. I'm jumping to the end of the mat. I'm gonna take that lower intensity option. Three, 
two, one. Big step or leap, back pedal, alternate legs if you're doing that single leg lunge or leap. Building speed and power today, as you can see. Looking good. Our backs are protected because why? Our cores are tight. You got it. And rest, 20 seconds. Side weighted lunges, if you wanna add that press. Was your weight enough this time? Your arms should be fairly engaged, burning. I only have three pounds here, that's what I'm using. Maybe I would move up to five, eight, 10 pounds if you have them. <sighs> Let's go. Side lunge left, drop and press. You can make this fluid or do that segmented. Drop, press, tap, side, drop, press. As many reps as you can push out in this 20, uh, 15 seconds left. These are what we call compound movements because we're working out so many body parts. Looks like this from the back. Awesome. 20 seconds, plank to pike with ankle taps or shoulder taps. If you wanna just maintain the plank position. I actually kinda of like that pike because it gives your back a little bit of uh, a break almost. Let's go. I'm gonna stick with the shoulder taps on this round. Widen the stance if you need more balance assistance. Narrow the stance if you want a little bit more balance challenge. The key here is keeping those hips super straight so nothing would fall off if you were balancing them on your high knee. And that is a challenge because you're lifting one arm off the floor. Relax. That was tough. Matt, lateral three-step drill. Again, lower intensity, just step, 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 side to side, or you are leaping to the opposite side of your mat. Let's go. One, two, three, jump. Or step. If you're taking that step, can you go a little lower just to add intensity without having impact? Yes, you can. Or you're at home going, no, I can't. But I know you can. Five seconds. Big leaps, big steps. Rest, jack sit-ups. Taking it to the floor again. Pick your poison here. You can stick with a crunch if you'd like, or a full sit-up or you can go into that full star jack position. Or just lay there. All right, go. No laying around, my friends. Oh my goodness. This one's tough, keep going, keep going. All the way up. Now, if you're sacrificing form, go back to a regular curl and strengthen your core so we can do that higher intensity option another time. Keep it going, two seconds, one, relax. Bring it back up, last round. Full on metabolic cardio today. We're pretty much working at the peak of our heart rate this entire time, which is why we're taking slightly extended breaks here just to let it dip back down. My friends, this is the epitome of what HIT stands for. High intensity intervals, an interval of 35 seconds with low intensity rests. <sighs> if we did not understand that term before this, we are sure to know it today. 
But of course, we added the F for fun and functional. All right, take it to the walk if you're ready. 10 seconds, broad jump, back pedal. My heart rate lowered 20 beats just in that uh, about minute there. That's good stuff. All right, big jump, power up, back pedal back, big step. How fast can you go while still being safe? I'm actually going to get off my mat. I feel like it might bend or be a hazard in this case. Take your safest options. One more. And back. 20 seconds. Side lunges with the weights if you'd like them. You have five seconds. I'm going to do these from the side so you can kind of see what they look like. But it's a big step side, all 10 toes facing forward. Drive those buns down, keeping your head parallel to the wall here, looking at it. Right side, press. Once you get that feel, yes, take it to speed. Looking good. Strong women. Love it. 20 seconds. Plank to pike or ankle taps. If you're wondering what I'm using for these push ups, you have about 10 seconds. They're kind of called a uh, perfect push up here. I like them because I can keep my wrist straight. I have a bit of a cyst right there. So anytime I bend, it really hurts. Plank to pike, touching your ankles, or shoulder taps. If you, your body is not having any of this, you're lowering your knees, you're rising up, rising down, holding the plank as long as you can, dropping your knees back down. Challenge yourself though. A shaking core is not an emergency, it's progress. Relax. Lateral mat, three-step drill. Jumping left, jumping right, or maintaining that lower intensity option, kind of standing in place. But for everybody, necks are long, chest is proud, shoulders are relaxed. Are you ready? Leap, two, three. I'm going to the end of the mat. I'm reversing backwards. You feel the power from your side hips here. Our adductors and our abductors, those are working hard here. Nine seconds. Four, three, two, one. Back to the center, jack sit-ups. This workout has gone fast. Wow. I hope you're under any kind of stress. This is knocking it out. All right, here we go. I'm going to stick with curls this time because I know my form is better on those, but your level up option is that jack sit up. Inhale down, exhale up. We exhale when we work. If you prefer, your hands could be across your chest. One more. Wow. Transition out of that am wrap round. Who is stressed now? Nobody. We burnt that right off, right, Angie? <laughs> She's like, yes. All right, we have 40 seconds. Grab some water if you want it, or take it into a fast walk, a little jog if you'd like. Towel off. 
Last round coming up here. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more core work here. All right, we have two exercises. Let me pause for one second. 45 seconds on, 30 seconds off. They're both gonna be on the floor. So for that 30 seconds that you have off, you can choose to rest and flop on the floor. You can get ready for the next move, or you can do some bicycles as a walking style workout just on your back is up to you. Body saw will be first, 45 seconds. We're gonna get down to the floor, elbows, hands down. Elbows are touching, hands are straight, and we're rocking as far down as we can and rocking back up. Nearly touching to the floor here for a tricep workout, core workout, is all the things. Second one, mountain climbers. So I would grab my handy dandy wrist things. You can do single climbers just like this, low intensity one at a time, high intensity is fast, or level off option right here is a jumping climber, your knee tucking in, knee tuck out. You can go in and out, or you can keep it to the center. Are you ready? 15 seconds. Almost ready. 10 seconds. Body saw is up next, or feel free to get into it right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Palms down for the most support. Back is straight. Rocking forward. My toes are nearly fully extended. I'm holding my body straight. Using my hands to teeter-totter forward. Amazing. Her body is so straight, you guys. Check in with those hips. Make sure they're nice and low. Your nose is nearly touching the floor, but you're so strong, you push yourself back up. And if at any point you feel like you're not so strong that you're gonna fall on your nose, lower your legs. <laughs> we don't want any of that happening. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds to rest or flex with a back walk here, kind of like a little bicycle. You can hold your elbows up, but if you like keeping your heart rate going, this is that walking move. You have 13 seconds, so we'll get into those climbers again. Slow and single, fast and single, or double legs. Who's ready? Three, two, one. Mountain climbers, here we go. I'm gonna take the jump on this first round. In and out, in and out. We're going as fast as we can. We're contracting our stomachs. Good, what's she doing? Yes, nice, all the way extended. How far can you go back with maintaining that straight plank position? Yes, whoo, get the leverage in there. In, all the way back. The one key piece though, don't let that butt sag or you'll hurt your lower back rest. We have one more round. Body saws next. If you want to keep the momentum going, go into that cycle, some crunches, whatever you want to do. You know the flow now. She's cycling. I'm resting so I can talk. Five, four, get into position. Three, two, one, seesaw forward, all the way down, all the way up. Your toes are nearly fully extended as you come down to the front. Optionally, hold the plank. Nearly nose to floor. Are you shaking? I hope so. 20 seconds left, not even. Don't forget to breathe. I'm holding the plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, 
I'm getting stuck under. How you feeling, team? Nice. Thumbs up for I'm still alive. All right, 15 seconds, back to those climbers. Singles, singles fast, or doubles. Up to you, pick your poison. Five, don't waste a second here. Three, four, three, two, one, go. Doubles, all the way out to plank. I'm gonna take the low impact option this time, driving my knees to my chest. If you're not feeling this enough in your core, you're shooting your shoulders over your wrists even more. Looking fantastic, full plank, amazing. You have about 15 seconds and you are so close to being done. Three, two, one. Amazing. That was some serious core work. And I have bad news and I have good news. The bad news is we're not quite, not quite to the end. The good news is you have one more round of exercises. Yes. We're gonna go into some internal climbers or sit outs next. What does that look like? The climber will be knee to opposite risk or the sit out will be taking your foot and kicking it out this way. Okay, this is 30 seconds on. And then we have a bicycle crunch. We're almost there. Last one, I promise. I lied to you guys, I'm so sorry. All right, internal climbers, back to that climber position. This time, knee to opposite wrist or a sit out. Kicking that leg out in front of you. You can bring your elbow back or raise it up to the sky. I'm teeter tottering. That's halfway because I can't use my wrists. Full sit out. There we go. Rest, bicycle sit ups or bicycle crunches. And this one, you can hold that position here. We're only resting for 15 and we're bicycling here. Or crunch to contralateral knees. Okay, knee to elbow. So bicycles holding the flow or crunching in. That's halfway. Halfway. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two. two. Yes. She's talking for me. 15 seconds to rest. Internal climbers need a contralateral wrist or sit outs. These will burn those obliques. This is almost like a side plank, except you're extending your foot out with it. So if you like that move, but aren't quite there yet, you can take to a T rotation and not use that foot quite yet. That's fine too. Four, and stop, good, 15 seconds, bicycles. Again, holding it in this option one intensity, contracting your abs, or curling up elbow to knee. How fast can you go on this one? Goodness gracious. I'm holding it here. Keep it going. Can you, if you're in that elbow to knee, how fast can you go? 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep it up. Tight core. Three, two, 
Oh my goodness. That was awesome, guys. Sheesh. Well, that was a little surprise move at the end. And you did amazing, as always. And for real good news, that is the end of this very intense metabolic cardio workout. How do you feel right now? Angie's on screen. She's got her water. She's good. You at home, how are you? Let's go into an overhead stretch. Grab your water, take some breaths if you need to, then go ahead and join. Inhale, exhale. Arms up, lace those fingers together. Deep inhale. Send your arms off to the side. I'm gonna pull my wrist a little bit, or just above the wrist, not the actual joint. Switch to the other side. We're gonna take it to a V-sit next. Inhale, exhale. All right, let's go ahead and sit down on the floor. Legs out to the sides and a nice big V. Inhale, exhale. Walk those arms forward. Can you go a little further? Inhale, exhale. Deepen the stretch. Really feel that kind of in that lower back, extending your muscles out. Press your back towards the wall if you'd like. Just keeping it here in the middle. Feel free to grab your toes if you want. Stretch them back. All right, lift up slowly. Roll those shoulders. Let's go into a right leg stretch this time. Deep breath in, nose to knee. Press down a little. Feel free to grab your toes if you can. Give them a little pull. Stretch that calf out. Inhale, exhale. All right, let's bring our right heel in. Inhale, lay on top of it. Where do you feel the stretch here? I actually feel it in that left thigh. Reach it back, put your elbows on the floor behind your right knee. Extend that arm up, point it to the floor, and we'll switch legs. Big stretch. All right. Go ahead and switch back out to that V-sit. Nose to knee, left side. Inhale. Exhale nice and slow. You can feel all the points of tension. Take them slowly. Grab your heel or your toes if you'd like. Give them a little stretch in. Big calf stretch. Inhale, exhale. All right, let's pull that left heel towards your center. Inhale, lean over, folding on top of that bent leg. Inhale, exhale. Feel the stretch in your right leg a little bit. Now let's walk those hands behind and place your elbows on the floor if you can get them all the way down there. Inhale, exhale. Right arm comes up. Big stretch over your head. Let it hang. All right, let's roll up slowly. Go ahead and take it onto your stomach if you'd like, as long as this feels comfortable. Now, if you have back issues, you may want to just lay, extend your body out, maybe take it into a child's pose. Otherwise, uh, hands pressed to around your chest level and you can stretch your body up. Looking to the sky. Inhale, exhale. Looking down, lower your body, rise up, hips come back, 
child's pose for the finale. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Big stretch. All right, rise up to your feet whenever you're ready. We are done for today. If you had any stress, I'm gonna guess it is gone right now, at least for the next few minutes. You guys worked so hard checking the tracker. We are at 484 calories. Whew, that's a lot of work right there. All right, if you're playing bingo, our bingo for this week is checking labels. Super simple, right? Anything processed is gonna have a label and you are looking for sugars specifically. How many hidden sugars are in your food? And when you look at the ingredients, it won't just say sugar. It might, but quite often it'll say things like corn syrup, rice syrup, lactose, cane crystals, ethyl maltol, uh, molasses, maltose, so many things. So many. I'll be actually posting that in our Facebook group if you want to know the 100 plus names for sugars. But do take a look at that because every one of those little grams is going into your body every time you eat something. So can you switch out for things with less sugar like plain Greek yogurt instead of vanilla flavored? Or maybe just adding your own little pinch of honey if you just need that little bit of sweetness. So take a look at those labels. Post on Facebook. What are you finding? I want to know. And sweaty selfies all around. See you soon.